Hi, this is Michael at TV Radio 1972, and today I am reviewing the Kato WRX911 High Sensitivity 11 Band World Receiver. It's an AM FM shortwave portable radio that I bought on eBay for $19.99 plus tax. Here's the front of the package. Has a picture of the radio in the front, Cato USA WRX911 high sensitivity world band receiver. Pretty much the same information on the size of the package. On the bottom, you have this UPC code here on the left, and on the top of the package on the left, uh, blue and black. They made this in two colors. Uh, made in China, and I got the one in blue because that was all that was available, although the blue color uh, looks pretty neat. I mean, my CC Observer is also in blue, so looked like a pretty good color to get. Anyhow, on the back of the package, AM, FM, shortwave 1 through 9, 4.6 to 22 megahertz, um, high sensitivity integrated circuit, 360 degree telescopic antenna, earphone jack, DC 3 volt jack, powered by two AA batteries, which are not included, and the accessories including earphones and a pouch, and on the right, a picture of the black version of the radio. Now, I took everything out of the box already, and I'll show you what came with it. Um, it came with these uh, rather cheap-looking uh, earbuds. Um, I pretty much haven't used them. If uh, a pair of my battery earbuds uh, breaks down, then uh, I'll go and use that. It also came in this pouch. A little bit of a dust magnet, you can already tell. But a different feeling uh, pouch, so... Uh, Looks different, but I like the Texan ones better. And then this plastic bag that came, the rail came in. Nothing too special. And then the operating instructions. Pretty much a four-page booklet. You can pause and look at all the information here. Pretty simple to use. Shows... All the controls, how to use the radio, and then on the back page you have specifications. You can pause and look at those. Precautions, and there's also a toll-free number and website. You can look at that. The Cato website is catousa.com for your U.S. and Canadian customers. And now I bring out the radio, and here it is. I mean, it looks like a pretty neat color here. So that's why I got it. And also it's analog. And I wanted to try a portable analog shortwave radio this size. So um, what I'm going to do next is give you some size comparisons. The first one I'll give you is the XH Data D219. The last radio I reviewed. It's a little smaller than the XH Data but still portable enough. And then, the uh, Texan PL606, uh, let's see, it is 4.13 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time from the northeastern part of New Jersey. Now 4.14 and 2014 UTC. Just to give you the good time in case I forget. 
because in some of these reviews I tend to forget. So, now here are the dimensions. About four and five eighths of an inch in length, three inches in height, and about one and one eighths of an inch in depth. It has a 19 and a quarter inch antenna and one and a half inch speaker. Now on the radio, on the top, Cato WRX911 logo. And then to the right, you have a tuning light. I'm going to turn this on. The tuning light is green when you tune into a strong station, and the power light is red. That's pretty neat that they did that. And then you have your speaker grill. And you can tell from this angle... I measured the speaker size like that, that little circle within the speaker grill. And then your tuning dial, you have FM 80 to 108 AM, 530 to 1710, and shortwave is broken to nine bands between 60 meters and 13 meters, between 4.7 and 21.95 megahertz. And as this uh, pretty thin dial indicator, but you can see it, it's pretty visible. And then you have your band selector switch. I don't know if you can see it, but it has a red indicator, although a red or orange indicator. Can't really see it all that well for some reason, at least not the AM and FM. Pretty small. But pretty durable uh, band selector switch, so I have no complaints about that. And then we go to the left. You have the volume wheel. And then you have your earphone jack. Now, headphone experience. Uh, there was low-level hiss. And also, when you turn up the volume, if you turn it too loud... It just doesn't sound very good. Sounds a bit distorted and loud. So don't put too much volume on um, earphones anyway. And then your DC 3 volt in jack here. Now the polarity is set or negative. Don't know if you can read that. But that's what it is. And then your wrist strap here. Pretty uh, good, durable uh, lanyard there. On the back of the radio, you have your 19 and a quarter inch antenna, swivels 360, held together at the base by a black screw, and um, you have your kickstand, which is pretty decent. Not quite as durable as the XH Data, but doable. Serial number and quality control sticker. Then you have caution here. I don't think you can read that from this angle. And then the battery diagram here. And then uh, AA 1.5 times 2 volts. So that's 3 volts. And then you have your battery door, which is not hinged, but it does have a ribbon, unlike the XH Data. And those are there are your two... AA batteries, which are not included, you have to supply them. And the polarity, the uh, positives go to the right. Now, the bottom of the radio, just little tiny feet to stand the radio. And then on top, pretty much, not much up there. You just see the antenna, that's all. And then on the right side of the radio, you have this rather smooth... Tuning wheel here, and then your power on off switch. And that is it. And right now, what I want to do is tune the FM band. And 
Now, the stations below at the beginning of the dial, that's imaging from strong FM stations. I'm in the New York City area. Therefore, if I'm close to FM transmitters, they tend to image below 88. However, I am able to get WNYZLD on 87.75, which is the TV, the audio TV channel 6, airing uh, Korean programming. Now, it's not coming in very good from this spot. And some spots, it's kind of tough to get this station, which kind of already tells me what the FM performance is going to be like. But let's go through the rest of the FM band just to see. I never had the obstacles in my life Brian had, but I figured if... E-bike batteries in a trade-off program to get them off the streets. It comes in the wake of e-bike fires that have claimed lives here in the city. Chad Michael Busto, the guy who allegedly stalked Drew Barrymore, now in hot water after he allegedly stormed into the dressing room of another star. WINS FM New York City. 1010 wins on 923 FM. 2005, McCartney, Elton John, Lady Gaga, Larry Mullins. I threw in that last one for free. Details coming up on 1010 Wins Entertainment. I always meet up with my friends at the Tibetan Community Center. WNYC FM 93.9 New York City. That's NPR. Hi, Salton. You want to help us? WEPN FM New York City, 90.7 ESPN. Um, and one thing that kind of stuck out to me was the fact that the Giants game planning lies in their approach. And they are. And they are. And we'll discuss more. Cabrera has walked twice and popped up. Pitch is fouled down the third baseline. WFAN FM, New York City, Sports Radio, 101.9 FM, The Fan. WWPRFM New York City Power 105.1 that you just heard. Let your voice be heard every Sunday morning at 8 a.m. right here on Open Line. This is Brother Fatine Muhammad. And this is Jennifer Jones. WBLS 107.5 FM New York City. And make calls to action in the tri state as we have for over 30 years. All right. That's it for the FM. Now, as far as FM performance is concerned, I have an FM reception report. Um, I wasn't too impressed with the FM. I only got 42 stations, 31 okay to good and 11 weak signals, and one of them including that 87.75, which is WNYZLD. I had trouble getting that in some spots, although it came in pretty good in this spot, but in other spots I had trouble getting it. And um, otherwise... Uh, I can only call it maybe an average FM receiver at best. Now let's go to AM. Oh, 
Now, there's already a problem with this on the AM. I might as well point out now. There's a pretty high noise floor. You're noticing it when I tune in, especially on weak stations. Even when there's no signal, look at how loud the static is. So it looks like there's a high noise floor with this receiver for some reason. WOR710, New York City. In the office of the sports doc, Dr. Arnold. Going to get past that one. I never knew that. Yeah. Ooh, it's playing music on the background, but that's 770 WABC, New York City. Comes in very well where I am. I'm only four miles away from the transmitter. She had a head injury. Oh, yeah. It was a traumatic call for us, in part by Casamigos Tequila and the family of Casamigos Tequilas, Blanco, Añejo, Reposado, Mezcal, and WCBS 880, New York City. Drink it and remember, always celebrate responsibly. Just like the team from Queens, my box jewelry knows a thing or two. Right in the middle, they're, they're starting out their legal career, and boom, you're talking about a case that's been... Homeowners, HOAs can pose a risk. Two-thirds of the homes built in 2020 were in developments governed by homeowners associate. WINS, 1010 wins New York City. Need assessment or enforce their payments. WEPN, 1050 ESPN, New York City. Uh, it airs Spanish language sports. However, the rest of the time it's in English airing the ESPN radio feed. So, yes, it's still partially Spanish. God's sakes, General Electric in the first quarter. <laughs> WMTR Classic Goldies 1250, um, Morristown, New Jersey. I'm not sure if that's 1500 or 1530. Okay, that station before it's 1560 W FME New York City Family Radio. That is WQFG 689 Jersey City, New Jersey on 1710 AM. That is the local tra traffic and information station for Hudson County. And that is all for AM. And I'm going to give you an AM reception report. Now, during the day... I only got 29 stations, 23 okay to good in six week signals. And a major problem with that is because of that high noise floor I'm getting on AM on this receiver. I don't get it with the K, with the uh, XH data, D219. I get it with this radio, though, for some reason. And at night, I got 60 stations, 38 okay to good, and 22 week signals. Now, it can get distant stations, and I did get some distant stations, including... Believe it or not, KXEL, Waterloo, Iowa, on 1540 AM, which is over 900 miles away. I was able to get that station in certain spots. So it can receive uh, 
stations at night, although I did struggle to get 740 Zoom or Radio CFZM because of 710 and 770 were just overpowering it. So that's pretty much AM in a nutshell on this receiver. So let's go to shortwave. I'm going to go quickly through the lower parts of the band. It is a bit no I don't know why it's getting this kind of noise right now. Not quite sure. Well, right now I'm not getting anything on it. Oh, I'm getting something on uh, Shortwave 3. CHU Canada, which is normally 7850, but I'm getting it, I believe it's because it's single conversion, so you get stations 900 kilohertz be below what the station gets. So that's probably why I'm getting CHU, because of that single conversion uh, imaging. So I'm getting around 6.9. Band four. WBCQ 9330 Monticello, Maine. It is Airing Wolves Last Chance, by the way. I think this is WMLK Bethel, Pennsylvania on 9275. This looks like imaging from another shortwave station that's above, probably around the upper uh, 9.9 .9 megahertz or something. Possibly WRMI, 9955, maybe WWCR 9980. Not sure. Shortwave uh, 5. I think that's Rayo Marti from Cuba. No, excuse me. Uh, I believe it's from the United States, but it targets Cuba. Shortly six. Some transmission there. WWCR Nashville, Tennessee on 13845. Alexander with one hand. Shortwave 7. 
one that could be fifteen five set fifteen seven seven zero WWCR Okeechobee. No, excuse me, WRMI Okeechobee, Florida imaging on that frequency. I think it is because it usually comes in one of my shortwave receivers and it's above the 15.65. I think that's what it is. And then... That was eight, now it's nine. And that is all. Now, shortwave to me was pretty decent. It can get stations, but like AM, it has this high noise floor, which keeps it from getting weak stations. So, that's definitely a flaw with the Kato WRX 911. But I'll call shortwave uh, reception pretty decent. Now, as far as my final thoughts are concerned, um, FM, not too impressive, just average at best. AM is uh, okay. It's, it's okay, mainly good for locals during the day, although it can get semi-locals and distant stations at night, but not a lot of them. So I'll call AM... I gotta call it AM average at best as well. Now the shortwave is pretty decent, but um, I must have positioned my radio right because in some spots I can get overload from medium wave stations like WABC and WBBR on the shortwave band, but for some reason from this spot, I didn't get it for some reason. Maybe just my positioning of the antenna because usually I have to put my... Fingers on the antenna in order for that overload to go away. But for some reason, I didn't get too much of it. May be because of the high noise floor of this receiver. So, my overall thoughts about it. Um, the sound as well is not very good on high volume. So, do not use it on high volumes on either headphones or on the speaker. Don't put it too loud unless the signal is... Uh, weak enough for you to tolerate the volume. So, like, the sound's not all that great, in my opinion. Now, as far as the rating is concerned, I'm a little torn on what to give this receiver because the FM was not that impressive and the AM and shortwave were basically average to decent. So, I'm going to give this a 6 out of 10, 3 stars, despite the FM performance, because you can get stations on this receiver. And to me, it just comes off as an average receiver and not very impressive compared to this one, the XHD to D219. So basically, I can only give it a maybe recommendation for the Kato. So I hope you enjoyed this review. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notifications to be informed of upcoming videos. Have a good week, everyone. Stay safe and God bless. Bye-bye.